<laughs> and we're live. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes faffing around. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. When you're here, let us know you're here and um, put a comment in the comments. So, yes, we can see we've got a number of people already. Hello, how are you? Hi, Hi Missy. Everyone. First one in today or first one to say something. <laughs> hello. Hi. I can't see any comments, but hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Sheila and Brenda show. Da -da. Oh, look, I've got crumbs down my front. So we're coming to you from lockdown. Hi, Denny. We're fine. Thank you. How are you? Kim, hi, Jade, hi. Oh, lots hi, of you popping in. <laughs> so you get you get sewing rooms, you get dogs. Oh yes, sorry, that's my possibly cats, I don't know. Well, well, <laughs> Husbands maybe. This is my Lily. There you go. Oh hello Lily. Well, it's making all the noise. Oh <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sue. Heidi, hi, Sue. And Cara. Is that a Luna behind you? A Luna? Yes. Luna Rabbit, your bunny. Brenda? <laughs> oh, sorry, me. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting here enjoying the show, forgetting I'm in it. Do forgive me. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Yes, that's my um, rabbit called Briar Rose. <laughs> She is uh, one I got from Melbourne, actually, when we went over on our one and only trip a couple of years ago. My first trip out of New Zealand ever. So that was very exciting. It was such an exciting trip, wasn't it? Oh, it was fabulous. Oh. Absolutely fabulous. Yep. Thoroughly oh, enjoyed those it. were the days. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> now I think they're still in lockdown, aren't they, in Melbourne? They are, indeed. Mm. Mm. But, um, yes, so we, we've got good memories of that trip. Yes, most definitely. Yeah, we persuaded Brenda to come with us, everybody. She'd never been outside the country. Her no. one previous plane ride had not been very good. No, that was pretty darn scary. <laughs> so not. we managed to get her on the plane. <laughs> we went over to Melbourne. We went to... Um, oh, we, we hired this car. There were four of us. And we booked That's a car. Cool. And I thought, like, you know... Um, an SUV would be fine. But four <laughs> ladies and their luggage. It wasn't <laughs> we, quite right, was it? <laughs> I had to go and try and find another car, but then by the time we found another car, they'd managed to do the puzzle and fit everything in. Um, yep. And then we decided that because we were arriving quite early, we would go to Jen Kingwell's shop in Torquay. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, lovely. So we went to Jen Kingwell's shop and... That's when I got back into knitting because that's where I felt I decided I needed to buy something that I couldn't buy in my own shop. That's right, I remember that. <laughs> or for my own shop from Jen, which I could. Yep. Hi, everybody. We've got lots of you coming on today, which is fabulous. Look, we've got 42 awesome. people here now. Hi, Joe. Wow. How is life up north? But it's gorgeous. And Elaine, so sunny in Napier. Well, we were supposed to be going to Napier this week oh yes on friday yeah and we're also meant to be going next week for the crafty fix so yep mm, so we're talking to the ladies about what we do about the crafty fix because it's looking a little bit unlikely i, I think would say so yeah but we'll wait we'll wait and see we won't throw it out the window yet yeah we haven't thrown it out yet um well, it is looking good isn't it that it looks like they are under control yeah yeah I'm i think dr ashley control. was saying it's re he's really pleased that it hasn't gone it hasn't become exponential the growth which it would have been yeah, if they hadn't they caught it in lockdown so early so exactly. when they said lockdown i don't know if anybody else was like me but i was like oh yes sewing <laughs> <laughs> time to finish things yay yay so what you been working for on brenda well, as you can see behind me, I have, which way am I going to go? This way. So this is my quilt. It is finished. It's um, out of Sheila's book, and it's called Murano. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it to start with. And then I got, you know how you kind of go off something. 
because you kind of get bored doing something and then lockdown came and I thought right and I actually got into it in the end so I'm really really pleased it's all finished well kind of just the top's finished it needs to be quilted which I will take somewhere to be quilted because it's um too big to quilt at home it's a king size it's rather large isn't it it's great it's rather large yeah. so how I'm many columns and rows have you done I think there is 11 columns and 15 rows maybe I'm not I can't remember now I know I did quite a lot more than what you had so yeah very very pleased with it yeah it's so looking guess... great yeah oh thanks yeah. Heather Heather says love your quilt Brenda oh thank you <laughs> yeah really pleased with it the colors are um what my son Greg would really love so um it's for him and his partner Rachel so yeah. yeah, they don't know that yet, but if they're watching, they know now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the cat's out the bag now. <laughs> it, is, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, so quite excited for them. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so and cool. Should I say about the other one I'm on? Why not? Why not? Okay, so Why I have not? started. Same people, Greg and my son, Greg and his partner, Rachel, are having a baby, my first grandie. <laughs> exciting. It's so exciting. And so I decided to make um, a just a small uh, cot quilt, and I seen these this panel, which is a bramble panel. Am I going the right way? Yep, we can see it. It's so gorgeous. It. Yeah. So doing the bramble panel, um, yeah. And I just decided not to cut it up, and I am doing um, flying geese around the outside. So my son my, being, yeah there we go we can see that go. my son's favorite color is green and rachel asked if i could throw some blue in it so i have Ooh. and um just using what background pieces i've got um isn't that great because that's like a mix that so your flying geese part are all um carolyn friedlander yes they are and yep. then your backgrounds are mostly the bramble fabrics aren't yep. they the only one yeah. that's not is this one, and that's just because I needed an extra. Oh one. yeah, that's I think that's out of my stash. It is from your shop. I think it's, it's an art stash. gallery one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've got mm, it anymore, I but it's it... one that. Yeah. Had. Yeah. Yeah. So very excited about that. So I've got four more of these to do. Cool. Uh, yeah. So that's been my bit of sewing over the last couple of days and things. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I've been. That sewing and writing instructions at the same time <laughs> <laughs> so the next block up in dolly mixtures i'm trying i thought i'll try and get them out early this week because they're due like the 31st but you know with everybody being in lockdown i thought it'd be really nice to get it done early well it's been a bit of a mission but there we go <laughs> nice so i started off thinking oh i might just make this block with applique and then I thought, mm, placing those applique pieces is going to be really hard. So I decided to do it foundation pieced. And I wanted to make it really, really easy foundation piecing. So it's been through a couple of iterations. But I think we're there now. It looks really good. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I've, I've done my block. Beautiful. And I have just got to applique the oval over the centre. That's how we're going to do it. It's going to look lovely. So I am currently tearing off papers. <laughs> so if you hear this sound, <laughs> then you know what I'm doing. Absolutely. <laughs> so, actually, Dolly Mixer is quite a good thing if anybody's wanting to start something and they want a scrap quilt because it's really quite a scrappy quilt. Um. So you can still like you can sign up and get the pattern and with and all the pattern comes with like videos. Which is really great. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Video well, editing. Yes. Do you want to see my video editing? Let me see if I can share it with you. Hang on a moment. I will go to this one. Oh, this is scary because I kind of disappear and then I have to reappear again. And I so, oh, not that half one. Half. <laughs> not that one. No. Not that one. No. I want to share that movie. There you go. Oh, so there good. I am. That's what I'm doing. Busy editing video. 
all little clips of video and then pictures and sound and blah 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 all that stuff it's all good fun lots and lots of work there of editing yeah wow so now i need to figure out just how to get back to you oh It'd be that one should be this one not and quite and go to camera yay i'm back uh <laughs> i even yeah, figured out how to use the iphone camera again that we used last lockdown and i know now when we're in the shop and we want to do this like two cameras and we want to yep. show a demo i've remembered how to do it now ah because we tried to do it the other day didn't yeah we? so i can i can plug my iphone into the computer <laughs> and just do it like that or i can do it wirelessly so. Oh, my dog's oh hi Anna. Hi hey, Judith. <laughs> oh, somebody's missing senior nationals at Lab Labour Weekend in Fonganui. Oh mate. Oh. Well cross our fingers for Labour Weekend. Mm. Yeah. And Judith Love from New Plymouth. Hello, Judith. Hi Jenny from Sun oh Napier's Sunny, Masterton Sunny, Carterton Sunny. Cardiff and sunny. It's got a bit of a cold breeze, but it's yeah. Sunny. We went out for a walk yesterday, and I thought it was going to be really too hot. No, mm -hmm. that breeze has got a bit of a bite to it still. Yeah, we, we yeah. took uh, Lily uh, for a wee walk this morning, and yeah. Um, well, once we got walking, I warmed up, but I was quite cool to start with. With that breeze, yeah, just a little nip to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, Jill says, is there a cotton and what size needle do you recommend for applique? Okay, Jill, hang on a moment. Hand applique, I presume. Um, I noticed I found my applique threads a minute ago, so I'm just going to go behind. I'm going around behind here. You're disappearing. <laughs> and then you'll come yeah. back. Be like yeah, magic. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I wonder what you're applicating. It'll be quite nice to see sometime. Might be able to post it on our um, Facebook page. It'll be nice. What's everybody else been making as well? It'd be really good to see what, what people have been doing in their lockdown. Hopefully you've all had a chance to do something or even get out in the garden because it's been not too bad weather. I know Yvonne's been out in her garden. She messaged me the other day. Oh, She's been, been busy in her garden. And I bet her garden's looking beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Always does, always does. And then she was having three days inside to do some quilting. So um, go Yvonne. Ooh, that would be yeah. nice. It would be nice. Mm, yeah. So, of course, the nice thing about being asked about what... Oh, machine, Jill. Okay, all right. Well, I will show, I will show everybody the hand as well. The machine applique um, for the... Hmm, I think our threads are in the shop, but I've got one here. Definitely got, oh, that's a point. My applique thread's in the shop. Oh, no. Ooh, I might just no, have to stick it on and tell people to applique around it. Anyway, I do have the sample they sent me. So this is a very large spool, but the usual ones are smaller than this. Um, but for applique, I mean, I use Orifil. I use Gutterman. It's a case of finding a nice thread that's the right colour. Yep. So about a 40 weight thread. But this is what we're using for the dolly mixtures. This is the Polyfast. And the oh, nice God. thing about this is very, very shiny. You can probably mm. see that. Okay, and it's lovely. Yeah. So I matched up all the colours to do for the applique. Um, yes, I will show you both, Darren. <laughs> And um, I'll show you this block here. And lovely Vicky has been helping me with the dolly mixtures and doing lots of the stitching as well for me, which is fabulous because that takes less time for me. Um, so this is kind of matchy matchy, but you don't have to. You can see the shine on there now. Oh, can't I can you? see the shine on yeah. there. Yeah, looks um, good. But you don't have to matchy as robin's saying yeah um yvonne roberts black white and a limey yellow yeah so you could put like black around something to emphasize it 
yeah. any colour, any colour you like. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, needle-wise, go into my needle drawer. Um, generally, I like using the red tip needle, which is a Janome. It's a number 14, so if you don't use Janome needles, that's the Janome one. Um, but uh, it's a 90, isn't it, a 14? I think so, yeah. It's a 90, it yeah. And these have a slightly bigger eye, which is often good if you've got a fancy thread. Um, and it gets through all the layers nice and easily. I just did um, raw edge applique on my um, mug rugs, and I just actually used my blue tip needles. Yeah. And, and the black mm. orifil, so... Yeah, um, I was quite pleased with how they how they turned out as well. Well, have you got any to show us or not? Oh, any secret? I can disappear and get it. Okay. No, get it. <laughs> yeah, you have to show I'll us what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I don't even know now. When you're in your sewing room, you've got things to hand. You see, it's great. Absolutely, it's quite good, isn't it? Ooh. So, um, where are we? Oh, right. cute. There we go. Got it right this time. So that was an online pattern, you said, wasn't it? It is an online pattern, yep. I yeah. bought it through Etsy. Yeah. Um, so, and it gives you different variations of what you can do with the um, cups and saucers. It is really that way, cool. That way. This one, I need to still fit, uh, stitch down the binding, of course. They would so be a fun lockdown project because you can just download patterns like that, can't you? Just yeah, that, make that was like downloaded, that. yeah, off mm. of Etsy. So that's Cute. a good one. And good way to use it. Ouch. Use up your scraps. So I found a needle in one of them. And this one. <laughs> so these are all from the same pattern and it's just mixing and matching however you want to lay it oh. out. So it's a real good one. Yeah. Yeah. So those I forgot about those actually doing those. But yeah. yes, you can see um my raw edge applique. And I did use just a size fourteen need uh size fourteen, a blue tip needle. Yeah, and I just went, went around three times. Yeah, to, um, and just that sort of drawing edge. around the edge, it just gives it yeah. a different look. So Darren says, can you use a different brand of needles on your machine? Yes, you can, Darren. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, Janome say you should use Janome needles, which are actually made by organ. They're organ needles. But I've always used all sorts of different ones. So, yeah. yeah. The Schmitz, is it, is it how you say it? Smitch. Mix. No. Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, use those yeah, as well. Yeah, they're very so. commonly available. Yep, yep. Um, oh, I keep, I'm missing. I might try and enlarge my comments window because people's comments keep falling off before I get a chance. Oh, there we go. Helen says she's using lockdown to make a new rock and roll dress for senior nationals at Labour Weekend. Oh, in that would be cool. And... What else have we got? Oh, Denny's picked up an old cross stitch today. Wow. I had some, I bought some cross stitch beginner kits for our neighbours. And um, the kids are very outdoorsy and I don't think they were all that excited about it. But the first night of lockdown, I texted their mum and said, do you want me to bring those cross stitch kits and put them in your letterbox? I said, yes, please. <laughs> So I'm crossing my fingers. Maybe they'll get into doing a bit of cross stitch. Oh, that would be kind of cool, though, if they did, because it is kind of a nice, relaxing thing to do. Oh, it's lovely, yeah. I yeah. mean, and you yeah. can't be outside all the time, can you? So. No, no, well, that's it. You can't be outside all the time. And yeah. it's um, quite good for the old brain just to sit there and, yeah, you know, relax. Yeah. And so it's good, it's good. Well, it is, and it's, it's meditative, isn't it? It is indeed. Any sort of stitching is meditative. So very, Elaine's very crossing her fingers for wow in September, October. Yes. Oh yes, I'm supposed to be going that with my sister Sandra. So Are you? Um, yeah. Have yeah. you ever been before? I did go. I have been twice. Um, quite a few years ago now. Um, the first time I went, we got seats. I went with my sister and our two daughters went, um, and where we sat was upstairs, and we thought it was a great price for the seats, and it was. <laughs> Except there was a bar right across where you would sit. It's like, either like this, trying to see, or you're like that, trying to see. But it was fantastic, what, you know, regardless. Yeah. It was really good. So, yeah, yeah no, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, oh, because um, our fingers, let's hope, yeah. should be on. All the work that people have put in, it would be great if it did go ahead, but understandable if it doesn't. Yeah. 
So let's have a look at what else people have been saying. Lorraine's been tidying up her sewing space so she can see the wood for the trees and then hopes to pick up the hemisphere quilt again. Oh, well right. done. And Leslie says it's slightly overcast here in Tiaraha, too busy on the farm milking cows and feeding calves, so an essential worker. And there's a lot of uh, you around, so we really appreciate you. It's, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Never never day. stops, does it, if you're on a no. farm? It's just no. like, you don't get a break. Um, and Jill loves your 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 um, little mug rugs. Oh, thank you. Janice says, could you do a triple stitch around an applique? Anything you like, Janice. I mean, you can yep. use your decorative stitches and have go to town with them yep. if you want to. Yep. So, um, yeah, can definitely do that. There's no rules in, in, in it really at all, is there? No, no, no you can do anything no. you like. Yeah. Um, Sue's got a hand applique quilt here. I do admire people who do hand applique. I really want to do more of it. I like it. But I just have to get round to it. <laughs> it's it's but, quite time consuming, but it's yeah. quite relaxing as well. Yeah, it's very but relaxing. It's quite nice to do if you're sitting in front of a movie or something. Mm. Yeah, if you get all the prep work done and then you can sit down and relax and, and hand it. Go. Yeah. Nice. And I've got my little box of Orifil 80 weights. Oh. Because <laughs> we've got them in the shop now. So this, oh, and these are nice because they're wooden spools. You would like these. I, I love wooden spools. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a sucker for wooden spools. Yeah. So I've used, in the past, I've used um, the Invisifil quite a bit for hand sewing. But I do find it's a bit slippy and um, kind of, yeah, sometimes a bit tricky to use. I guess it depends oh, on... Oh, Rachel, your machine's with Marvin. Oh, no. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Good. Rachel, you're going to have to do some cutting out and getting ready for when you get your machine back. <laughs> oh, how devastating would that be? Oh, no. Oh, Sue, yeah, no, 2915, no, 2015, yeah, I got the message. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, for hand applique, to mat you want to match your colour so that you don't see it. And then I've got all my dolly mixture colours, of course, haven't I? And then this cotton is 80 thread. weight cotton. I love cotton thread. It's beautiful. We've thread. got all these now. And then oh Patricia's doing Patricia's doing hers by hand. Um and I used to use applique needles. Because I do love tiny needles. You see these? The size of that. Oops. Oops. It's pretty small. It is pretty small. But I learned that the better needle to use is a milliner's, which is a milliner's number 11, because it's nice and straight It does, and it helps you if you're doing needle turn and you want mm. to turn under the sides, then... Gives you a nice roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier. Yep. So, Karen, is the Tula Pink range arriving yet? Not as far as we know. No. <laughs> Everything's so slow. We've got the Curiouser and Curiouser. I hear that um, the new planes are arriving in America in September now, which means they should arrive here about the same time. Hopefully. Mm. Yeah. And then I don't know with Daydreamer. Don't know yet. No, you just have to watch the website, watch the space, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And we were hoping that we would get our other fabric this week. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen either, is it? No. So that's a little bit sad. Uh, but I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Tulip pink range of thread. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Um, but so it's, it's the tulip pink thread that we've got, the boxes that we've got is um, Orifil. And um, so this is also Orifil, but the ones we've got in the shop, I think, are 50 weight. This mm. is 80 weight. Um, and then the particular thing about the Tula Pink is the colours that she's picked because it coordinates with all her 
all their fabrics, fabrics and everything. Um, Elaine says, how is Yvette tracking? Well, that is independent of container ships. <laughs> <laughs> so the event is um, we are waiting for one of the fabrics because I had to redo that fabric but it's coming by international post and the target date it says every time I hit the tracking button is the 2nd of September which is actually next week so um, obviously we can't send anything out at the moment once we're in level three, I think it's a good time to tell you what, what the plans are. So once we're in level three, um, Brenda or I, probably separately to begin with, because <laughs> it's quite a small space and we think it's it quite a good idea not to have lots of people in there at once. Yeah. Um, we'll be packing up the orders. So thank you to everybody that's placed an order online. Um, yes. They will be done in order that they were received. Yep. And, um, hey, Pauline. <laughs> so once we're allowed back in the shop at level three, we'll then go in and process all the orders, all the online orders. Um, Brenda's said that you're going to... All the all the month two mystery that we've got is cut. Cut, it's all ready to go. So, so just... it's ready for Brenda to make it all pretty, as she does, yep. in her little yep. packets, and then get it to be sent out yep. just remembering that we did find last time the couriers were reasonably slow because they had a lot of stuff to send but yeah um, but it didn't take too long really did it some of them arrived quite quickly some of them got a bit lost yeah so yeah and it's just and some of them were just generally slow just depending on what region you were in i think yeah 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 so um, it's just a matter of being and, patient. Um, as we we did been. do some local deliveries, so not promising anything, but we might be able to drop things off. <laughs> yep. Some things yep. off. We'll see how we go. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um, can you buy separate fat quarters online? We don't, Sue. Um, our software doesn't have the facility to do fat quarters, but um, if you, yeah, it's and it's. I think it's. Point three, isn't it the minimum it on the thing because yeah. it can't cope with 0.25 so if you would like to buy fat quarters sue send us an email um and we can figure it out for you we can put it into our system and then we can send you an invoice mm. and then you can do it like that so robin noticed <laughs> robin says brenda your clock has stopped <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has stopped. So um, this clock's very old. It was in my grandmother's house, and um, it's just a nice keepsake, really. My sister tried to get it fixed to work, and it did for a short while. And unfortunately, it decided to not work. So um, I just haven't really been back to the clock man to see if he can get it going again properly. It has a key to wind it up. It's quite an old clock. Wow. So, it's actually set at three all the time, so perfect for today. Perfect. He is at three, <laughs> and it's always three. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, oh, we were going to show them something today. We it's always tea at three at Brenda's. Thing. That's quite right, Elaine. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, definitely. It's like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, point three. Yeah, we can do point threes. Not a problem. Oh, thank you, Paula. Prizes. Yeah, so um, you're doing your flying geese. So what did you use to make your flying geese? Okay, so now I've got to find where I put it. I have discovered this, which we um, do have in the shop, and it's a flying geese ruler plus a 45, which way am I going this way? 45 degree and a 90 degree, is that right? I think I'm right. Yeah, will be. Ruler. Um, and it's really good because you can um, work with the numbers on the white down the side and that tells you your strip width that you need for your um, actual flying geese, which is the, which way am I going? The blue part here. Mm. Oh, there. Yep. <laughs> and then 
when you turn your ruler um, and you cut with these numbers down here, oh gosh, I can't get a handle on this, now that's got a reflection of the sun. No, it's looking good. Um, that is to cut the background bits, which is my um, white bits. Yeah. So um, it all works out really well, and it gives you, oh, you no know, figuring out, it tells you if you need a five and a half inch strip, It'll give you five and a, a five inch by ten inch flying geese. So um, all it's it's. So really you don't cool. have to do any quarter square triangles. No, no. You don't have to trim up any half square triangles. No, no. Fantastic. And it's got this QI code on it here. Yeah. Um, and I put the camera on my phone on it, and that took me through to YouTube and showed me exactly how it worked. Brilliant. So um, a great tutorial, and it's only a couple of minutes long. Yeah, and made it so simple and basic. So that was really good. So that's how I did my flying geese, which I'm really pleased with. Exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> um, and what else did I? Oh, I know what else we were going to see this. Yes. Our theme ripper. Which way am I going? Yeah. So we have, um, two ends on our theme ripper, small and large. Don't know if you can see that very well. Oh yeah. Um. Anyway. This was used quite a lot on this. Behind was it? <laughs> <laughs> because I was getting a bit fussy about my points. Because my <laughs> points weren't quite working out for me. So I did quite a bit of unpicking. And I used the where am I, the rubber end. This yeah. Part, and that rubs out um, the thread that's still remaining in your fabric. So that I love those. That rubber end is absolutely brilliant. It is. I've used that heaps um, because I was fussy about my points. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, oh, got two. We've got one more thing to tell you about before we do the prize draw because we've got another prize today. I had a look around my sewing room and I thought, I'm sure I can find a prize in here. And I did. <laughs> oh, exciting. So before we do the draw for last week, and show you this week's prize um the bramble panel that brenda was talking about i mean obviously we can't deliver anything at the moment so we'll um we're going to leave last week's pick of the week up at the same price this week and anything you order at the moment will be in the queue and will be sent out as soon as we get to level three um so the bramble panel and the coordinating fabrics and we also have some half meter packs are all on yep. sale. Yay. So I thought I would show you where they are on the website. So bear with me because I'm going to share my screen again. And I don't want to share that one. I want to share a different window. So I'm going to show, hang on. Uh, I'm going to show you that, that one. There we go. So this is our website. Whenever I put these things on sale, I have to make a little category. So these are actually now in the category of Bramble, which is underneath fabric. So if you go to shop and then click on fabric and then click on Bramble, you will find all these. These are the, the ones that we've got. Excuse me a minute. I'm just trying to scroll the right screen. <laughs> it's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. It is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> so we have a few of the panels left. And if I refresh, I might see, because, yes, look, there we go. It worked. Oh, look at that. So I'd scheduled them all to go on sale, and there they are. They're on sale, um, including these lovely half-meter packs, which also have the red in, which is a very cool fabric. And they also have the last of our squirrel fabric. So they are all the coordinates. But I love these neutrals. They're really good, the They're neutrals, so cool, though, aren't they? They're them. looking lovely on your flying geese. Thank They're you. Great. So that is kind of our pick of the week and Fabio's has find all rolled into one this week. Yep, <laughs> done well. Oh, Linda, enjoyed your prize from a few weeks ago. First thing you've won in many years. Oh, you're like me, one of these people that never wins anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you did. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, right, let's see if I can come back to you now. I need to go back to camera. Yay, I'm back. Yay. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try something really clever now because oh, yeah. I think 
we can show you the number. So Brenda's got the list of potential winners there. And I've got the app. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's all right. That's Epoch camera. It's all right. Uh, right. Now I'm going to go and find the app. Pretty random. Let's see if we can share. Oh, here we go. I'm going to share my phone. There you go. Oh, look at that. Are we ready? We're steady. <laughs> So how many have we got for get for A? A is 26. Okay, we've done that already. So I'm going to press randomize. Number 25. Number 25. Who's number 25? Hanet. Heronet. H-A-R-N-E-E-T. Great. Is that the first name? Is that the lady's well, first it's, name? It's, it's under the first name. And do forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. I do um, apologize. Okay, well, congratulations. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. So that's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. And, and for B, one, how many have we got for B? 30. 30 is our maximum. So, okay, we're going to randomize. Number 22. Number 22 is Barbara. Barbara. Barbara hasn't got a last name either. Barbara Barbara and Murray is the email. Barbara and Murray. Barbara and Murray. Okay. Barbara. I've lost you, Brenda. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to bring you back. Here you are. Woo <laughs> oh, God. It gives you a headache, all this technology, I must admit. <laughs> well, you're doing well because I couldn't do it. Well. Uh, we got there, though. We got there. You did. You did. Yeah, we've, we've done great. So congratulations, so congratulations. to Harry and, and Barbara. What did well they done. win? I've forgotten. Um, they had. Now I have to think about it. Um, it was the wool packs, the wool applique oh, kits. Oh yes, the house and the fish. Yes. Lucky. Hello, Helen. Oh, Helen Jean is here. Hi. <laughs> so. We've got another giveaway for this week. So I had a little scoot around my sewing room. Now in my sewing room, I often have fabrics that I probably bought at Houston as part of a fat quarter bundle that I got very excited about and then didn't buy for the shop because there's just too many fabrics in the world. So I thought I'd pull a couple of them out. So we have, right, this is gonna be A, you might have to write this down, Brenda. Oh, right, <laughs> so we remember which is which. Okay. So A right, is Abby. this. This is Sally Kelly fabric. Oh, that's so oh she wants it now. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that make a nice mask? Oh, wouldn't that? Ooh. Wouldn't that and I also found some orophil that I haven't opened and used yet. <gasps> Variegated. Oh. This is all pinks and blues and that's pretties. Pretty. So it's number four six four seven. I actually think I have that too. But Those I love two. Fat so that's A. A. And this who week. was the fat quarter? Um, Flowers, Flowers. Sally Kelly. Sally Kelly, thank you. And Orifil 4647. I know, Sue. So, ooh. <laughs> that would be a good one to work. We're not in lockdown too long. I'll have nothing left in my sewing room. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the day. <laughs> I also found, now I can't remember who this one's by, but it's gorgeous. Oh, there's nothing on the selvage. I can't remember who the manufacturer or designer was, but it's gorgeous. Oh, Look that's at that. cute. Oh, the stalks. Yeah. Oh, Are they stalks or cranes? Oh, they might be cranes. Sure. They could be cranes. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a gorgeous that quarter and to, and I also found which is quite nice because it coordinates with all the pen drawing on there this is oh. <laughs> Orif <laughs> Orifil number 4652 so it's kind of a black and white and grey variegated that's lovely and we have we have the Orifils in the shop we just don't have the fabrics in the shop well I'd be so stoked to get some of that e Exciting that giveaways. <laughs> it is actually. That's really exciting. Yeah. You like well those, done. Denny. <laughs> I do too. Oh, but they're going to find a new home. They are. Yeah. 
So um, we did have a few people who I think are essential workers who are asking about us doing a Facebook Live at the weekend. So I might pop in and do something. It won't be in this format, but I might just come in and have a chat. That would be nice. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be fun. Yeah. And, you know, to get, to get a little bit of structure to the week is always good. It is indeed. It is indeed. <laughs> like, what day is it today? <laughs> now, Linnea <laughs> says Nicole and and she like both in their, but they're fighting over A. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if you can win it and then you can cut your fat quarter in half and have half each. Jenny says, would you mind showing the fabrics again? Sure thing, Jenny. So this is the fabric for A. It's by lovely. Sally Kelly for Wyndham. Beautiful. I nearly bought this range, but it didn't quite make it. It's lovely. It is lovely. I really yeah. like it. And the other one. So, Joe, how do you enter? Okay. If you got the email this morning, there is a link um, in that email, but we always put the link away again on the Facebook Lives. It's under every single Facebook Live. We'll also, we we've, we missed out on our Friday newsletter last week because I've got it all written. <laughs> Linnea, you're not sharing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, just a moment. I'm going to, I've got to show you the other fabric. This is the B fabric. So this is like stalks. Cranes, kind of cranes, I think. Oh, maybe beautiful. it's beautiful. I think that's lovely. I think it's cranes, maybe it's, I don't know. Anyway, it's lovely. Um, so what was I saying? I've forgotten that. Oh, yeah, the link. So, but we will be doing a newsletter this week, um, with a bit more stuff in, like news about mysteries and shipping and all that stuff as well. And that the link always goes in there too. So it's a link you click on and then you fill in the form. Yes, JD, very cute kitten. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jade's kitten, Lulu. <laughs> so, Jenny, um, we don't use the comments from under the Facebook Live. We use your form that you fill in. And at the end of every Facebook Live, I go and find the link again and I put it in the, in the comments for this. Or I put it at the top of the Facebook Live. Um, and um, I'll, it also come out in the newsletter and so on. What that does is it, it's a form and then it means that all the information goes into one place and then on Mondays usually we print out a list and that's the list that Brenda has and it, it just automates yep. it and makes it a lot easier and less Thank work for us. And we, won't, and we don't miss anybody then either. No, we don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Where's yeah. your kitten? Is your kitten still there, Brenda? Yep. Do you want me to pick her up again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have any pets. I've got to have... I got to look at my nieces and nephews' dogs this weekend. They're so cute. They met each other this weekend, apparently, in England. This is back in England, so it was allowed. My um, fur grandbaby. Oh. Lulu. And um, she's just lovely. She's just moved in with us. So cool. Jade is living with us and Dylan with so us. So she's actually Lots. Jade's kitten. It's Jade's kitten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's just beautiful. Yeah. And I've got a cat, Daisy, who's not quite sure of her at the moment, but that's okay. But my dog, Lily, that you all saw earlier, absolutely loves uh, Lulu and is dying to play with her. So Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's Lovely. my pet at golf, Helen. No, he's not allowed to play golf at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> They're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, right right I, I see the, the careers turned up I think he's come to us and, <gasps> and he knows that the shop stuff comes here Ooh, exciting. So it might be we have got a big American order like eight boxes due on Friday and I sent a, a message to UPS and said can you please send them to my house <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't want them to be in no man's land in between. Um, but yeah, yes, yeah, so we'll find out what that is. That's exciting. Never know. You just never know. No. But of course, none of our wholesalers have been able to go in and send anything. So No, that's it. Yeah, don't know. 
could be something for my birthday. <laughs> I'm going to have a lockdown birthday. <laughs> oh. How many days till your birthday? Two. Hmm. Not long then. Well, no, no. So maybe I shouldn't be too nosy about what's in the career package. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be able to help myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Yeah, I don't get excited anymore. I've, I think I'm most definitely over the hill. That hill was last year, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, you're never over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has sneaked up quickly, Helen, because last year, yeah, the girls came round last year and brought afternoon tea. It was just lovely. That was a big nice. birthday last year. Oh, Margaret had a lockdown birthday last year. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, well, I think that's us for today. And um, don't forget to enter. I will put the link up, but also you can look out in your newsletter. You have until Monday to enter because that's when we do the list. Um, so Sunday night is the cutoff time. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's when we do the draw on Tuesday, but we print yep. it out on Monday usually. Yep. So thank you very much for coming, everybody. Thank you We've for had fun. In. It's been great. It's been nice to have a little chat, hasn't it? It has, actually. It's been really good. <laughs> yeah. Keep safe, everybody. Yeah. Yep. 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 Stay safe and stay in your bubble. And Absolutely. thank you to everybody that's working for us. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. See, See you, everybody. Bye. Bye.